Hey everyone, and thanks for jumping back into the Cryptoverse. Today, we're gonna to talk about Bitcoin and look at the move back above the 20 day moving average. So if you guys like the content, please subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up, and also check out the Telegram channel, which you can find a link to in the description below. Let's go ahead and jump in. So a lot of people, a lot of people are getting excited. Bitcoin's back around 19K, went up to around 19.4, I believe, um, at the wick earlier today. So it was, it was right around 19.4. So this is, you know, we were talking about three different scenarios in, the, in, the, in one of the last videos on Bitcoin. Essentially, the idea is we want Bitcoin to stay bullish in the sense that it's able to get back above these short term moving averages, right? This is, so this is the 20 day moving average. As I said before, I don't think the 20 day is that important, but just the idea of us able to get above it means that we're not just simply in a, um, you know, it, it means that we're not necessarily entering a consistent downtrend. And again, if you if you look at prior moves to this level, like um, back over here in, in 2020, uh, February of 2020, we, we dropped down below the 20 day and then we came up had a little bit of resistance there, back down, resistance again, and then we continued on down. So in these situations, it's not that this was necessarily like a pivotal moment where it tested the 20 day and, and, and that means it has to go down. But what it essentially shows is that we are in a downtrend and it's unable to get above a fairly short moving averages, a, a fairly short moving average, which essentially means we are trending downward. And without that confidence in the market during that time, altcoins will simply not have the confidence to make any moves because the volatility on Bitcoin is high. And in this situation, it would have been volatility to the downside, meaning Bitcoin's losing value. And in that case, a lot of altcoins are going to lose value against USD and Bitcoin. So that was the first, that was one of the first scenarios we looked at. And then if we take a look at the next one, the next scenario looks pretty similar to our current one so far. Um, as we as we showed right the, the dip down to the 20 day back up below the 20 day and then we were back down we were over here the last time we talked about it so we had the dip down to the 20 day back up then under and we said okay well in order to emulate what happened at 10k so we had this move here at around 10k in order to emulate the move at 10k the same type of move but we want to see it at, at say 20k um, and maybe even a little bit less, but let's just say, you know, 20K or, or somewhere in that ballpark. In order to emulate it, we would want to see us get back above the 20 day moving average. And at the time of the video, I believe the 20 day was around 18,591. I might be not remembering correctly on that, but I think it was around that um, area. You can see now the 20 day is $18,634. So it's come up about $40 or so in the last few days. So um, one of the one of the things that we want to keep an eye on here, of course, is is whether is whether Bitcoin can can establish some level of confidence, you know, above this moving average, maybe even if it goes back down below it. But essentially what we want to do is we want to establish sideways movement in this region. Right. That's what we want to do. Uh, we want to establish sideways movement like we did at 10K, like we did at 20K. And we also know that there have been some similarities between the move to 10K and the move to 20K. Again, if you were to take, say, a bar pattern um, and, and then just measure this move from there uh, and put it on here, right? It's a pretty similar move. I mean, apart from the dip back down, but you can see a pretty a pretty similar move here. You know, this this move to the top, back down almost perfectly, back up, back down, back above it. So we're back above it, right? So if we zoom in, you can see we, uh, last time we came back above it, here we're coming back above it. So now what we really wanna see is, is just a is just a simple sideways movement, right? This is, and, and maybe, maybe what I wanna see is, is different than what you wanna see. If you only own Bitcoin, then probably you wanna see it go up. Uh, but if you own other assets like Ethereum, you know, and some of the, some altcoins, then I think it would be ideal for for Bitcoin to establish itself, you know, in in a range here, right? You know, maybe between twenty thousand and and seventeen thousand, eighteen thousand, maybe seventeen five, somewhere in that ballpark. So if it could establish sort of a range in here where the the twenty day moving average is just cutting through, the price is going above and below it, 
uh, this would help help the uh, you know help other uh, other cryptocurrencies to to gain confidence and start gaining on Bitcoin again, and this might cause the Bitcoin dominance to go down. Right, where we talk about the Bitcoin dominance, if it, if Bitcoin goes sideways at a bullish level and it does it for a few weeks straight, then you're going to start to see more and more coins probably take off. Okay, it's just as simple as that. Um, of course, you can always figure out some projects that are, are outperforming at any given time. But as in terms of the dominance, we would expect the dominance of Bitcoin to go down if, in fact, it can remain range bound here. So we also don't want to discount the potential possibility of, of a move back up above 20K. And, and this would also likely be fairly bullish for altcoins if that were to happen. So in the short term, at least in the short term, we were able to get back above the 20 day moving average. But remember, I mean, don't schedule your interview with Forbes just yet. Uh, we still have a long way to go. You know, it, just because we have one day above it does not mean that we are going to be range bound for the next several weeks. It, 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 you know, there's nothing, we're a far cry from it. So what we want to see again is we want to, we want to remain range bound here. Uh, if your if your goal is to is to you know basically create an environment where altcoins can thrive, so and that's what I'm hoping to see. Uh, and I understand that some people might might not want to see that. Maybe you want to just see Bitcoin crash through 20k and and continue on upwards and, and expand the bubble even more. But if you do want altcoins to play catch up and you have a, a diversified portfolio, then maybe you're like me and you want to see Bitcoin just cool off for a little bit and give the reins to some of the other assets within the asset class. So let me know what you guys think. Um, you know, if you look at if you look at this move here, uh, back when we were at uh, 12K, we came down, tested it back up, came back down, resistance sort of got above it, uh, but ultimately we still ended up crashing back down to the 20 week moving average, right? So we, we ended up going back down to the 20 week moving average at that point, if we put on the bull market support, you can see. Uh, so we ended up coming back down here. And just to, you know, just to let you know, we are currently at a valuation of 12, or sorry, this is the, yeah, this would be the, the daily, let's go, let's switch over to the weekly chart. So currently the 20 week moving average is at 13,362. We will be printing, by the time this video is live or close to it, we'll have already printed a new um, a weekly candle. We'll start a new weekly candle, and at that time, we'll likely see the 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 bull market support band um, uh, come up even more. Okay, we'll likely see it come up even more. It's currently at thirteen thousand three sixty two. We'll probably see it closer to thirteen seven. If I had to guess, I would say somewhere around thirteen seven. Also, look for the twenty one week EMA to. I mean, it's around fourteen k now. It'll probably be closer to fourteen point five k if I, you know, if I was just uh, randomly guessing here because I actually have not done the math um, precisely on those. But look, especially for the twenty week to be around thirteen seven, that is where the Bitcoin bull market support will be, or at least the lower bound. So the upper bound would be the the twenty one week EMA. So hopefully this video has been useful. Um, I know I've been doing a lot of re a lot of videos recently talking about some of these shorter time moves, but. I do think that I do think that when when the market is this um, overextended in the short term, and that we're in the in the you know we're we're essentially developing the capability to potentially see altcoins move again, uh, we want to cover it as as frequently as we can. Remember, the sell is still going on. There's been still a continued interest in it, so make sure you check out the the sell. You can find it in the description below. You'll get access to the premium list, which includes weekly premium reports, weekly videos. The alerts channel on Telegram, the, tra the trading view indicators, the risk dashboard, a whole lot more. Next year, we're going to be doing some, we'll still do public live streams, but we're also going to be doing uh, live streams just for the premium list. So we'll continue to add value there. Make sure you get in at the lower price while you still can. Make sure you subscribe also. Subscribe to the channel. Give the video a thumbs up. I will see you guys next time. Thanks for tuning in.